Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can easily downgrade your GTA 4 Complete Edition so you can play online, you can play with mods and you can also have the original music in the game and all that good stuff. I'm going to try and make this video as easy as possible so you can follow my instructions and you will have zero problems at all. I've done this multiple times but if you do come into that slight chance where you have a problem or you're stuck or just need help or need to ask anything else you can head over to my Discord server and you can contact me on there and whenever I'm free I'll be happy to help. I will want to mention please um, follow my instructions very carefully and you should install this without a problem. I thought I'd do guys, let's get straight into today's video. If this video helps you at any point in time feel free to smash that like button and if you're new to the channel feel free to hit that subscribe button as I'm going to be posting more GTA 4 content in the future. So first we need to do, we need to download the downgrader, there will be a link down below in the description and if you do not have WinLaw, I will also provide a link down below for that as well as you're going to be needing that to extract the files. Once you have downloaded the downgrader, we want to head over to our GTA 4 directly. Now before we do that, you, you need to know, this is very important, you need to know that you need to play this game at least once, okay? You don't actually have to load into the campaign. All you can do is just load up the game and where it asks you to, to play the GTA 4 Nico version or Liberty City, you can just quit out the game and that'll be okay. So make sure you do that because if you don't do that, there's a good chance that you will break your game. Now we're going to head over to our GTA 4 directly which should be in Steam. If you don't know how to get to it, just go on Steam and you can find it through there. As you can see, I have two copies of GTA 4. Now, this is I highly recommend doing this. You want to backup your game. So, as you can see, I've renamed one of them called Backup. And this is just going to be my backup. So, if anything goes wrong or if I want to play the complete edition again, I can easily just rename it back to GTA 4 and I'll be able to play it. So, make sure you backup your game. This is very important before we head on to the next step. I also want to point out, make sure that the game that you're going to be using and modifying, rename it to, well, keep it as GTA 4 because this will need to be uh, the one we use to play the game. Next, we're going to go up, open our downgrader. Now, you want to uh, just double click on this little tool and this will just program um, everything to work. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, so it won't work for me. But all you got to do is just double click it, run it, and it should take two seconds. Once you've done that, as you can see, we've got two downgraders. I recommend the 1070 for um, mods and for online, in my opinion. So that's the one I'm going to do, but that is completely up to you. So I'm just going to double click it, and as you see, we get all the files for the downgrader. Now we're going to go onto our GTA 4 and just copy everything in here and paste it over into our GTA 4 directly. It's going to ask you to place some files, that is okay just to place every single file. And now you have officially downgraded your game on GTA 4 and you can play your game just by clicking it from the directly and it will not load up Rockstar Game Launcher or anything like that. Now I want to point out for your game saves, your game saves are going to be in your documents, Rockstar Games and then GTA IV and then in save games and all your um, save games for Liberty City and GTA IV aka the Nico version will all be in here. Um, obviously it's not showed up right now because I haven't been on the game yet but once you load it up and make a quick save or a game save it will come up here and obviously if you want to use a 100% game save you just obviously drag it into this folder and there you go. I hope this tutorial has helped you. And feel free to smash that like button if it has. And like I say, if you have any problems or questions, feel free to head over to my Discord server, contact me, and I'll get back to you when I have time. Thank you for watching, guys, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.